Thank you all for joining me today for Pretty for Jesus. We're talking about breaking free today. Breaking free from anything that has been holding you back or keeping you down. In 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17, it says, Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. We have liberty in Jesus. I am broken free from sin. I am broken free from anxiety, from worry, from stress, from sickness, from disease, from fear. Anything that's been keeping me back or holding me down, the Lord has set you free. That's good news today. Have you ever felt that you've just been bound, that you know that you need a change in your life? Well, let's recognize who we are in Christ Jesus and the authority that we have as a believer. I'm free. I don't have to live this way any longer. So if you're wanting change in your life today and you're saying, you know what, I want to get broken free from these things that have been keeping me bound, what do I do? There are three things the Lord spoke to me that really helped me that I want to share with you all today. Here's the first one. All right, it's time to break those destructive habits, break destructive cycles. If you found yourself speaking words of worry more than uh, words of faith, it's time to break that cycle today. Or if you're living in a state of fear where you're constantly talking about fear, fretting about something, talking about how sick you are or how defeated you are, that's a destructive cycle. Here's a good example, personal example. My first year of marriage, I found myself yelling at my husband all the time. No one wants to grow up in a house where someone yells. I don't want my kids to look back and say, oh yeah, she was a pretty cool mom, but she yelled at us all the time. And I don't want my husband to think that. That's ungodly. It's not honoring him. It's not honoring our marriage. The cycle needed to be broken. So I went to my mom, I got some godly counsel, and she said, Anna, it's time to break the cycle. I want you to take the next two weeks, and every time you find yourself wanting to yell at him, Replace it with the Word of God. Get in His Word and find out what He's saying about your situation. So today, break the cycle with God's Word. Whatever it is you're dealing with today, get a scripture. Apply it to your life. And when you find yourself wanting to act upon that destructive habit, choose to speak out God's Word instead because it's going to break that cycle. Take the next 21 days. It starts today. You are breaking free today. Second thing, take the limitations off of God. Stop limiting God to what you think he can do. Because in Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20, it says, Now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us. You know it's the same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. That power is living on the inside of you. God is going to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all you ask or think. Take the limitations off of what God can do in your life. Think big. We serve a big God. Then the third thing is this. Rejoice. Rejoice when you don't feel like it. Rejoice when you do feel like it. Victory is yours. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 4, it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Wake up in the morning rejoicing and go to bed at night rejoicing. Rejoicing that you have been set free, that you're no longer sick, that you're no longer defeated, that guess what? Those destructive habits have been broken and that God is doing something great and something big in your life. We are breaking free today, and it's going to be awesome. I'm excited because I know your whole countenance is going to change today because you're broken free. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Well, thank you all for joining me. It's going to be a blessed week. God is faithful, and I hope to see you soon.